Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tired Automotive Center. So let's talk Wilkes University men's basketball head coach Izzy Metz joining us right now. Well, Izzy, uh, the season getting ready to kick off, and you guys are ready to go. Let's uh, let's talk about your outlook this year. Sure thing. Thanks for having me. And first of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, Trey Brown and the uh, football colonels there on the big win yesterday. Uh, great, uh, great win for those guys. I'm really happy. Uh, to end the season on a high note, but uh, yeah, we're excited to get the basketball season started. Um, you know, coming off a uh, twelve and thirteen year, seven and seven in the conference, and uh, we returned some very good players back. I, I think uh, we're bringing six freshmen uh, plus a transfer. So, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of reason for excitement and optimism. And, and our guys have been working hard for the last month. Excited for our first game against Summit University coming up here. Well, it doesn't sound like you had to go far to get uh, a couple of recruits, uh, but when you got one, I guess you got two. Let's talk about that recruiting process for you. Sure. Um, well, you know, like you said, we, we have uh, six recruited freshmen and one transfer. Um, we have uh, one guy, you mentioned local, uh, Clay Basiliga from Abington Heights up in Clark Summit, and Clay is just uh, one of those guys that you know you love to have. Uh, for a lot of reasons, he's a, he's big and strong for a guard, uh, about 6'3", 200 pounds, really solid guy, he's athletic, and uh, just has a great, you know, motor, uh, plays hard on both ends, and, you know, he's, uh, his energy is infectious to the team, he just elevates the, the level in practice, does a great job, uh, you know, just bringing it every day, and, and he's continuing to get better on the offensive end, you know, we're excited about his development in our program. Uh, we, we got another young man from... Uh, <clears throat> Lower Dalton High School in the Hershey area. Tommy Bowen, he's about six five, uh, stretch four, does a great job, you know, shooting the basketball, passing, he can post up as well, and he's a versatile defender. Uh, two young guys out of the Syracuse, New York area as freshmen, uh, Connor Evans, who's a point guard, played at Cicero, North Syracuse, and his AAU teammate uh, from Bishop Ludden High School in Syracuse, Zach Walls, are about six six, uh, very skilled. Uh, big guy can can step away from the basket, and he's also good in the post and a good positional defender. Uh, and then we've got a couple other guys uh, that we're very excited about. Uh, Marcus Robinson's a, a six-one guard uh, from South Jersey, Kingsway High School in Swedesboro, New Jersey. Very athletic, uh, kind of fits the mold in terms of uh, how we want to play. He's good pressure in the basketball. He's good in transition. Um, and, you know, plays uh, really, really hard when he's out there. And, and Quinn Parsons is a six-six front court guy, very athletic and long. Uh, and I think uh, is a guy that you know, is going to continue to develop. And has a tremendous amount of upside. And is a terrific young man. And then Connor Evans' brother, uh, Casey Evans, was on our football team here at Wilkes this year. He transferred in from RIT, and so actually he had his first full practice uh, today. And uh, we'll we'll slowly work him in to uh, the process as well. He's a he's a point guard, plays two, just you know has two years of college basketball experience, playing at RIT up in Rochester, New York. So we're excited about the group. Um, you know, they give us some some depth and, and athleticism, and they come from winning programs. So you know, I think they do a great job of complementing the guys that we uh, already have in the program. And uh, you know, we're excited to see you know, how they do here. Izzy, for you uh, getting your first year under your belt last year and seeing what the league was like athletically, you know, the type of coaching that there is, different things on the road, at home, uh, what are some things that you, you took away and said, okay, this, we got to focus on these couple things? Tell us about some of those things you tried to focus in on and, and bring that in here for 2015-16. Sure. Uh, it's a really good league, the Freedom Conference, and uh, – you know, the teams kind of run the spectrum of style of play. I mean, you have some up-tempo teams. You know, you have some teams that like to play a little more half-court. Uh, they're all well-coached, and, you know, they, like I said, they play different styles. So that makes preparation difficult. You know, I've been in some other leagues before where you might have had four or five of the eight teams play very similarly, and that made scouting and preparation a little, a little more easy just because, you know, you can kind of say, all right, these are some of the things that we did for this team and we can do for this team as well. So um, that makes it a challenge. I mean, I think the big thing that I took out of coming out of conferences, you know, we just have to be better uh, defensively in the half court. You know, I thought we had our moments last year, but for us to, to get to the top of the league, we, we have to be better in the half court, uh, foul less, um, you know, 
defensive rebound better, guard guard inside better, keep the ball in the paint. You know, all the things that I think every coach harps on from uh, the first day of practice. You know, we certainly have to improve on, and, and I think, you know, in practice we've addressed those things, and you know, and I've seen some improvement, and we have to continue to get better at that. Uh, you know, I looked at the numbers. You know, I looked at some of the analytics. You know, we were second in the conference last year in uh, points per possession, and we were second in the conference in offensive efficiency. So uh, we did some good things on the off- offensive side. Uh, I still think we can get to the free throw line a little bit more to uh, put some pressure on the defense. And uh, we were a pretty good uh, three-point shooting team last year. You know, largely uh, due to Alec Weiser and Steve Stavinsky. Both of those guys are you know they're back and they're they're really good shooters. And so. You know, we have to keep playing our strength, which is shooting the basketball, but uh, continue to get a little more balance inside out and, like you said, get to the free throw line a little bit more as well. Coach, for you, uh, you know, you see a lot of coaches at different levels, high school, college, doesn't matter. A lot of them have that uh, that 50, 60-year-old guy. Maybe they lean on a little bit, one of those guys that maybe have 20, 30 years under his belt. Uh, you, on the other hand, you have a very young coaching staff, so there's probably some positives you could take out of that and what you get. Um, so tell us about just having those young guys and what they're thinking about because it's probably a different mindset than maybe some what you're used to seeing out there at any different level. Yeah, no, that's a great point. And, uh, yeah, I'm the elder statesman on the staff at 40. So, uh, you know, the roles have been reversed a little bit. But uh, we have a great coaching staff that works. I'm very fortunate, um, you know, starting with Stefan Thompson, who's our lead assistant. And uh, Steph played for – for me at Hobart for two years before I left to go to BC, he was an All American point guard. Uh, he played overseas in Italy for uh, for a short time, so he's got he's got a wonderful basketball mind. A lot of times, you know, with a, with a really good player, you know, when they get into coaching, maybe they're not as much into the X's and O's early on or, or something. But Steph really is. I mean, he's he's great at breaking down film. He's great at working our guys out, and he's got a particularly really good offensive mind. Um, so you know, I lean on him a lot for uh, things not just in practice and in preparation, but during the game. I mean, he's a guy that uh, you know really has a good demeanor, uh, even keel and sees the game at an incredibly high level. And he's, and he's a terrific recruiter as well. Uh, and then, you know, the two other guys that we have on staff, uh, Mike Boylan. Mike played for uh, Jerry Rickroad for three years and then turned to being a student assistant last year due to injury. And Mike, uh, you know, brings the whole package as well. Uh, first and foremost, is a Wilkes alum. You know, he, he loves uh, Wilkes. He bleeds blue and gold, and, and um, you know, so he sells the school to recruits, and, and he has a great rapport with our current players and, and the alumni as well. Mike also has a very good basketball mind, and, and he's been in this league, so he was uh, he was tremendous for me, uh, kind of giving me the skinny on you know what we could expect when we played some league opponents. And then uh, our last coach is Owen Wignott, who's a uh, native of Wilkes-Barre, played at Holy Redeemer, had a tremendous four-year career at Division One of Siena. And uh, Owen just gives the perspective uh, you know, to our players. that have played at a high level. He works with our big guys a lot. Uh, he's just got a great presence on the floor in practice. And another guy that's got a great demeanor. You know, So I've got three assistant coaches. While they're young, they, they've got the respect of our players because of you know, accolades on the court and just the way they carry themselves as professionals. And so I, I think that, you know, when a, when a family comes on campus and with, with a recruit and they look at them and say, hey, we have a young staff, but, you know, these guys are mature uh, and, and they're very energetic. And, and that's what's fun about coming to practice is, you know, the gym is lively. There's a lot of chatter. It's very upbeat. And uh, as a result, I think our players feed off of that and, and they see that, you know, the coaching staff likes each other. They have a good rapport, and I think that makes it a pretty harmonious situation all around. You talk about upbeat and, and having the right mindset, and I think you got that right at the top with Alec Weiser and Steve Stravinsky. You mentioned they can be really streaky, streaky as shooters, uh, but they always seem to have that positive attitude, high five, and, and good camaraderie. Uh, and this, their senior year, I'm sure they want to go out in style. Absolutely. I mean, those guys are, you know, they play a lot of basketball at Wilkes and, and you know, they've been, you know, in, in a position where the first couple of years, maybe they didn't win as, as many games as they wanted to. And I think, you know, this last year, they, they won a few more games and, you know, competed well against really good opponents. And both of them have had huge games over the course of their career, scoring and, and otherwise. And so, you know, the challenge that we presented to them as seniors was to say, you know, hey, 
you know, what do you want your legacy to uh, look like? You know, when people talk about you two guys in particular, you know, what do you what do you want people that are you know associated with the program, associated with Wilkes, uh, to say about you? And you know, they both came to the conclusion. That, you know, and it was an easy one. It's yeah, we want to be known as you know winners here. These guys that you know, uh, you know, got in the league playoffs, won the league, you know, went to the NCAA tournament, and you know, they know. Uh, the hard work that that takes and the consistency on a day in the out level to play at a high level and to also be great leaders. And, and both of them have done a great job of that, uh, you know, from the start of school into practice, you know, leading up to our first game. And, you know, we ask a lot of those guys. I mean, you know, Alec will be asked to play on the ball as a point guard sometimes, play off the ball as a two guard. Steve. Is like uh, our stretch four man. You know, he's a macho problem, I think, for a lot of teams because he can shoot the ball, and but he's tough and, and he rebounds out of his area and he can score down low. And those guys just give you everything they've got day in day out. They've been, they've been tremendous for our program. Zachary Bruner, uh, one of those guys that you get excited about. He plays bigger than he is. He's got those big man moves down low, you know, little fakes, little head bobs, different things like that. And he's kind of a, a, a clock puncher as well. Uh, how about his development now as a sophomore? What are you expecting? You know, what's been great about Zach is that, like, since he's come back to campus uh, in September, he, he's just, you know, he has a different sense of uh, confidence and, and maturity about him. Um, and what, what made him good as a freshman was that he, he was poised. And, and, you know, getting all the experience, playing 25 games and, and producing at a high level last year, I think now, you know, he's a sophomore and he's just that much more confident. And he's gotten a lot stronger, too. I mean, you can see it in his frame and his body. He's just gotten, you know, stronger because of the weight room and he's gotten a year older. And so, um, you know, he's able to hold his positioning down low more. And, and the other thing we had Zach to work on in the offseason was continue to get more confident. You know, he's a very good mid-range shooter. Let's try to expand your range a little bit so if uh, bigger guys don't want to step away from the basket, you can be a guy that can knock down a three every once in a while or at least be a threat to do so. And then he's gotten better uh, defensively in the post as he's gotten stronger too. So, you know, we said it last year, we've asked him to kind of play out of position, but I think the beautiful thing about Zach is I, w- I wouldn't say there's one position that defines him. He's a, he's a good basketball player. So, you know, he can play anything from the three to the five and um, you know, he's embraced that. And he's just a great guy to coach every day. You know, he just, just brings it. Fun, fun guy. He's a winner for sure. You get a little home flavor to start the year, coach. Then you'll have a lot of road games and then uh, a lot of home cooking on uh, Saturdays in January looking at the schedule. But uh, we look forward to uh, to seeing you on the court this year, coach. Hey, John. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. We'll see you in the season. Thanks a lot. All right, Wilkes University coach Izzy Metz, men's basketball. Check it out at the Mart Center here on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.